Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the black and red tarpon toad. It is a very effective pattern for tarpon and works really good as it gets into the later evening. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size one stainless steel saltwater hook, some three aught black thread to tie with, some black marabou for the tail, some red EP ultimate fibers for the body and head, and some large black mono eyes for the eyes. So the first step is to put on your thread. Now when I'm tying on my thread, I've actually started on there. I'm gonna go right back kind of to the hook bend and just make sure the hook is covered with a little bit of black thread. And then I'm gonna wind it back to about, you know, another third back from the hook bend. And that's where I'm gonna put in my tail. Now I want a nice uh, black marabou tail. So what I'm gonna do is take two fibers. I've actually taken one marabou feather and the other, and I'm gonna place them just so they face out a little bit. Just face them together. And pull that in. And then measure up just about the, the length of the hook. Just a bit longer. Move it back to the position about a third up from the hook bend and tie that in for the tail. And create a little bit of a body also, moving forward towards the eyelid. Now that the tail's tied in, I've taken uh, some of my EP fibers and I've pulled off about a quarter inch diameter. If you look at the diameter there, it's, a, it's about a quarter inch. So I'm going to put them on the back of the hook and take two wraps, one, two loose wraps, tighten up a little bit and then go around the other side and just do another couple of wraps. And I want to take two or three wraps there just to tie it in and go in front of those fibers. And then what we're going to do is keep progressively pushing this up the hook and keep stacking it back to form the body and the head. Now that I have my first set of EP fibers cut in, I'm, I've cut off the excess here and I'm again going to tie in another set right behind my last one. Take two wraps, tighten up a little bit, Go around a couple times there and tighten up and then go in front and keep pushing it back to stack these EP fibers up to form a nice head. Cut off your excess and again place it in front of the other EP fibers and continue up until the head's finished. So now that we've worked our way up and have our head and body built, we're going to take a couple of our black mono eyes and we'll put these in right at the front of the hook and take a few wraps around and tie them in. And make sure they're nice and secure. It takes, uh, you know, a few figure eights, probably five or six really good figure eights, and make sure they're tied in good. Now the eyes are tied in, we're gonna finish off the fly. So I like to do a good whip finish on the head, do a few, a few wraps. I like to double it over a couple of whip finishes. And then what we're gonna do is take the fly to the vise and trim the head to shape. So I'll take this out, and now trim the head. So there it is, the finished black and red tarpon toad. There's a couple of patterns I always make sure I have in my box when I head down to Cuba. The green tarpon toad for the daytime tarpon fishing, and of course this black and red when we fish in the evening. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.